looking for a worthy adversary, someone I could lock horns with because love can never exist on the terms I demand. It's never that pure. And once I saw you at a bar and so I slithered up to you like a snake and I tempted you with a golden apple. But you didn't know that I was offering fruit from the tree of knowledge. I didn't know you'd have a thing or two to teach me too. Because all of my life, I've been playing a part, an actress on a stage spouting lines on cue. But that role's been getting tiresome. But every day I still keep playing that part. Until on my day off, I saw your performance at the theater down the street. And you know, your protagonist was doing what I was doing, right down to faking it with people who don't matter, right home to going home and still feeling empty. And I was wondering, maybe, if we could get together and write our own play. It would be a masterful performance, and that curtain would open, and you'd walk out onto the stage, and I would stand there in front, stage left, and I'd wait for my cue to make my move. None of the rest of the scene matters to me, you know. Maybe they'd like our little play. Maybe they wouldn't. Who really cares? Because now every day is like Valentine's Day. It's like hearts and cupids and sunshine and angels and all those other cliches that really don't make sense. And now I'll come out in front of the stage and wait for you to say your lines because... The lines you say are the lines that I think. Because you take my thoughts out of my head and you shove them into your mouth and you spit them back at me again. <laughs> and instead of filling me with fear, it fills me with joy. So I look forward to our next performance where we have our happy endings where you tell me what I already know. Mm, nice, 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 nice. I want that.